the case closed stairs handicap is next a second long distance race on the all weather here at Kempton and just a five runners in this one not surprised really it's the extreme distance of two mile on five furlongs Marie Sadie at the top for David Robertson super six Martin Liam take back control for Graham Clutterbuck the red hot favorite Mumbles Pierre Alex Cherry and spinning McGarry Jamie Hopkins and Graham Clutterbuck standing dish in these races well, you never, we never get any of them taken out because he won't, he won't allow it. They're away and racing because he's the one who normally wins them. <laughs> Take back control who's in the lead. Straight from the off. Uh, obviously going to have to stay well in this, but these horses have probably not got the class to be racing in the Ascot Gold Cup in a few weeks. They'll probably likely go in one of those long distance races. There's a, a conditions one, isn't there? There's a handicap. The problem, of course, is as I found to my cost. A couple of years ago, my horse won this race and then was weighted out of the handicap at Ascot, which was its main target for the whole season. So, you've got to watch it. What are you doing with these races early on? And take back control. He's in the lead with a bit of luck. will win by 25 lengths and will be not allowed to run in the handicap at Ascot. Sorry, Gray. Super 6 is in second. The Gray Marie Sadie is back in third. And then comes Spinning McGarry in the purple jacket on the outside. And finally, Alex Cherry's Mumbles Pier. So they're already quite well strung out. And they've still got two miles to go. And take back control. He's clear in front. Super 6 is back in second. And Marie Sadie is after that one. And then another gap of a couple of lengths back to the back pier. Mumbles, Pier and Spinning McGarry. So if they all finish, they'll all pick up some prize money as well. Which is good. Uh, take back control. He's clear in the lead. Leading by two lengths or so. To Super 6 in second. Gap of five then to the only grain of field. Marie Sadie, the top weight. And then following them. Mumbles, Pier and Spinning McGarry. This race, the case is closed. Stanger's race, no James Shea in this, which is a shame because case closed was his horse that won the Grand National in my very first season of commentating in SO6, which I don't know what season was, season 6 I think it was, this is season 16, so it was a long time ago, and back control, in fact I can tell you, it was 8 years ago, almost, so there you go, take back control is the leader, Super 6 is second, Spinny McGarry is third. In comes Marie Sadie and Mumbles Pier is after that one. I'll take back control and he's clear in front. And leads by a good two and a half lengths to Super Six in second. And a big get back to Marie Sadie. And then Spinny McGarry and finally Mumbles Pier. He's at the back. I'm really getting strung out now. Take back control. Not quite sure how come that one's got more weight. Well, it's a grand clutter, of course. I mean, one it's a good over this. It's got less weight, isn't it? That's what I mean to say. Third in the handicap, but he's going well in the lead at the moment. Leading by four or five. There's six furlongs still to go. Nothing's gone anywhere near it so far. And Super Six and Marie Sadie are still there. I would suggest that Spinny McGarry and Mumbles Pier will finish in their own time. At the moment, take back control has took control. Didn't need to take it back. It never lost it. So far, anyway, Super Six is being pushed along in second. Marie Sadie's having, well, making hard work of getting past Super Six, but has now gone into overdrive. So now this is where I'm made to look like a complete idiot as the grey on the outside comes and probably goes and wins by 10 lengths. After I've been talking up this grey horse, but it's well, grey, the grey ham horse rather than the grey horse, you know what I mean? Anyway, they're inside the well, they're almost inside the final two furlongs now, and as you can see, Super Six is dropped right out of it and will finish third. It looks like Take Back 
control will win this quite easily. I think Marie Sadie looked like she was going to make a race of it for a while, but I'm going to give way to weight. It's probably proving to be. It makes a difference because she's starting to make a little bit of ground now. Take back control. Looks comfortable in the lead. Jockey had a little look round. And takes it easily for Marie Sadie second. Super 6 third. Wumbles Bear fourth. And Spinning McGarry fifth. And I would like to put that up as the most uneventful race on the entire eight years I've been commentating. Well, maybe it's not quite the most uneventful. There's been a couple of ones like that. But you know what I mean? Not a lot happened there. I don't think anything happened apart from Marie Sadie overtaking Super 6. And that was it. It was almost like a Formula 1 race. Take back control. The winner for Grand Prix of Marie Sadie second for David Robertson. Super 6 for Martin Linden was third, Mumbles Pierre for Alex Cherry was fourth, and Spinning McGarry for Jamie Hopkins was fifth. Vinnie really, Gerard, if you're watching this, the top two need to be given a whopping great big rise, and the third needs to be dropped just in time for the Ascot to come.